All right, how's that look? Can you see it? Yep, perfect. All right, awesome. Awesome. So, um, you know, hello, everyone. First off, I just want to thank, you know, Crystal and ATEC for setting up, you know, this virtual version um, of the conference. You know, it, it is great to get to speak to you guys, even if it is virtually, um, you know, really excited. So uh, before we begin, um, I want to start off by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Joel Sikaris, and I work for jsfirm.com. It is my job to help students and alumni, you know, from aviation schools um, and aviation colleges across the country um, to kind of, you know, provide an aviation job resource for your students to search for jobs, um, things like that. So uh, my main focus is on students. And, you know, I'm really excited today because I want you to get to know a little bit about jsfirm.com, kind of what we do and how we could really benefit you um, and benefit the students and benefit your career services as well. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with jsfirm.com, we are an aviation only job website. We have thousands of companies that advertise their open positions and search for potential employees in our resume database. So it is a really awesome job resource for your aviation students to search for jobs, find jobs, and then apply for them with their resume before graduation. Um, so, you know, we don't do any type of recruiting. We are just a job website where it will be up to your students or you to find what job opportunities are available out there um, and then apply kind of on your own time. So, you know, I, I want to talk about some of the features that we have and, you know, how we can really benefit your students. Um, however, I want to mention as we go through this, I set up, you know, aviation career webinars um, with a ton of different schools across the country, uh, four-year schools, you know, community colleges, technical schools, trade schools, things like that. Um, and, you know, I, I did see some familiar faces uh, this morning, you know, some familiar names as we are going through. Um, I know, you know, some of you guys have, have worked with me in the past. Um, and I just want to say thank you for, you know, allowing me to speak to your students. Um, as far as these webinars go, they are really to support aviation career services, um, kind of supplement that and, and, you know, explain to the students some good resume tips, um, best practices for job interviews, things like that. Um, and also, you know, it shows how to utilize jsfirm.com effectively um, so that you know that you're, you know, running the best job search possible um, for your correct category um, and things like that. And it's kind of just an overview as to what's going on in the aviation industry right now as far as hiring goes. Um, so, you know, these webinars are... 100% free um, to set up. I would be more than happy to set one up with you. Um, you know, I'll put my contact information up here as we go through this. Um, and, I th and you can contact uh, Ashley as well. Her email might be a little easier than mine and she can forward it to me. Hers is just ashley at jsfirm.com. Um, but I'd be more than happy to set these up with you. And you know, the best thing about jsfirm.com is that, you know, becoming a member of the website is 100% free. So your students uh, can hop onto the website, create an account, and apply for jobs. Um, there are a ton of great features on the website as well. Um, you know, as educators, 
professors, career services, um, feel free to make yourself an account as well to see what's out there. And maybe you could share some of those jobs with the students. Um, that would be a great option as well. Um, but you know, here at jsfirm.com, we're just really proud that we can stay free for job seekers. Um, and you know, it, it gets me really excited knowing that there is a great aviation job resource out there, you know, for your students. So as far as, you know, some of the benefits and some of the, the features that we have on the website, um, I'm going to go through some of these slides just very briefly, just so you can get, you know, maybe a better idea of kind of what we have to offer. So um, one of the great features we have are job alerts. And, you know, say you run a search for maintenance jobs in Orlando, Florida. Um, you can save that search and then you can get notified in your email when there are new jobs, new maintenance jobs posted in Orlando, Florida, for example. Um, now, um, as you go through this, this is a really great way to share jobs with your students, kind of see what's out there. Um, you know, it is just a really awesome feature, super easy. All you have to do is check your email and you get these aviation jobs directly um, in your inbox. So, um, Resume management tools, um, you know, I know career services at um, pretty much all of the schools that I have worked with in the past do a really great job of helping their students build a resume, um, helping them with resume tips and things like that. Um, but, you know, if anyone ever needs to contact me, um, you know, as, as our office has uh, aviation industry experts on resumes and things like that. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Your students can feel free to reach out to me um, as well for any resume needs that they may have. Um, but as far as resume management tools, uh, that's kind of what I have for that. Um, so we do have an interactive job and company map. And this is my favorite feature about the website. This is always a really great feature uh, with students as well, especially those who are willing to relocate to a um, different area, different state, different city, whatever it may be. It's a great tool to visually see where the jobs or companies are located uh, near the area. So you can click on these pins, you know, read through job descriptions and apply for jobs all directly from this map. And it just makes it, you know, really easy. It's a really simplified uh, job search that you can do. Also, um, you are able to save jobs to go back to later and you can follow you know, your favorite companies to get notified when they post new jobs as well. You know, if you have a company near your school, um, set up, you know, the job alerts for that company. And anytime they post a new job, you're, gonna, you're going to know right away. Um, get your students to get on the website, be an early applicant to that job, um, things like that. And the last thing we have here is called Skill Check. Um, I know some of you out there have helped me with this project as well. These are short 10 question quizzes that are just for fun, kind of knowledge quizzes. Um, if anyone would be interested in you know, providing me with just a short 10 questions, maybe from a textbook that you have for the students in class, things like that, um, I would be so grateful to, um, you know, take 10 questions, put them up on the website. And that way, uh, you kind of get your school logo uh, on the website, a little bit of advertising there, things like that. Um, so if anyone's interested, 
don't hesitate to reach out to me about this as well. Um, but I am going to just go ahead and throw my contact info up here. There's my email address. You can text or call uh, that cell phone number there. Um, super responsive, and I would be happy to help you or any of your students out with um, any needs that you may have. Um, so, you know, I also want to mention that maintenance jobs are one of the biggest categories of jobs that we do have on the website. Um, you know, we have thousands of maintenance jobs on there right now, uh, currently. So definitely, you know, have your students check that out or you yourself go and check those out. Um, also, we do have a lot more um, categories besides maintenance and pilots and things like that. We have anything from accounting to aircraft sales uh, to drones, UAV, all sorts of different categories. They are all unique to aviation and all related to aviation. So that kind of weeds out all the other types of jobs that are out there and um, you know, creates a search that is specific to aviation. Um, and again, maintenance is, is one of the big categories. Um, so, with that being said, um, I kind of just want to open it up maybe for a Q&A session, see if anyone has questions for me. Um, again, I really think it is useful for um, any of the professors to, you know, just take 30 minutes of your students' time, um, whether that be during class. I, you know, I've done webinars uh, or presentations when students are on their lunch break. I know, you know, hours can be pretty tight, um, but I am really, really flexible and uh, really willing to work with you on dates and times and things like that. Um, but I really think that you and the students could really benefit from setting up one of these free webinars with me and just talking about the aviation industry and aviation jobs and things like that. So that kind of, um, you know, ends my rambling about kind of the webinars and just a little bit of overview about the jsdrum.com website. So again, if anyone has questions, um, I think you can probably throw those in the chat or um, things like that, but thank you guys. And Ashley, I'm not sure if you have anything to add as well. Um, don't feel obligated, but that is kind of just the overview here. Yeah, I think you covered everything. We're more than happy to answer any questions you all have. Please feel free to reach out to us too by email. We can schedule, you know, anytime. Hey, Ashley, we should probably mention, um, and I had to step out the first five minutes, so hopefully you didn't talk about it, the exchange that we have between ATEC and JS Firm. So JS Firm have been great partners. I mean, you saw them participate in the panel. They're always in the exhibit hall. We have a job board on our website that JS Firm populates. And then as part of um, our exchange, ATEC member schools get a free post for instructors. So we know that's one of the major um, challenges for schools is hiring instructors and ATEC used to facilitate those postings on our website mm -hmm. uh, but we just thought we get much better amplification for you through JS Firm so set up this partnership so you can get one free posting a year and then I think it's like 20% off thereafter yep. um, yeah. for both schools and companies so any ATEC member gets discounts mm -hmm. on yep and we have had some of the members utilize that free job so that's pretty exciting you know to see them see their names popping up yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that, Crystal. Um, definitely take advantage of that if you haven't already. Um, kind of see how the job posting side of the website works as well. Um, there are there are a couple questions in the chat here. Stan, how are you? Um, recognize that name there. So um, as far as 
a lot of jobs being available during COVID? That's kind of the question um, that he asked. So as far as maintenance jobs go, uh, we're kind of chugging along here. Uh, we still have a lot of open opportunities available on the jsfirm.com website. Um, you know, as we went into this, um, we expected to see, you know, maybe a dip in job postings. However, a lot of companies are starting to hire again, starting to come back to us. A lot of them have stayed, you know, steady hiring throughout the process, especially um, with maintenance jobs. Um, you know, some other categories have kind of taken a dip and things like that. However, overall jobs on the website really haven't gone down all that much. So we have a ton of opportunities on there that are still available. Um, you know, internships get posted sometimes, they go pretty quick as far as students go. And we do have a lot of entry level positions on the website as well uh, that would really relate to students. So really that kind of answers that. And yeah, the other one was kind of the layoff ratio versus the hiring ratio. Again, um, in the near future, we're expecting to see kind of a spike in people coming back to hire. And again, they are currently right now. So that is just what we're seeing on our website, um, you know, being an aviation job website. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, if there's any other questions, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Yeah, I know. So we talked a little bit about, I mean, just to kind of get to the hiring, because I know that's what everybody's talking about, the survey that we did of the schools and asked them about their graduates getting hired. I expected a much more dismal answer than we got. And it sounds like at least half of the graduates are still being hired that are coming out of the programs. And yes, maybe there are a little bit fewer graduates coming out because, you know, graduations have been delayed and those sorts of things. Um, but, you know, if you guys out there have comments about that, where your graduates are going, if you're having trouble placing your graduates, just anecdotally, I think we would all be a little curious. It probably has to do with geographic and other, you know, aviation or non-aviation employers that are out there. But I, I'll just say I would, I would, um, the numbers were not as bad as I thought they would be. I mean, I can't speak for the whole of the industry, of course, but as far as what we're seeing, um, you know, the jobs are still out there, but it's kind of been a shift in where they're located. Like cargo carriers, for example, are ramping up their operations, especially right now. Um, so they haven't seen a slowdown in hiring there. Same thing with, um, you know, charter operations, same things like that. So yes, there is kind of a gap being left by like the airlines and the major um, passenger carriers and things like that, but there are other facets of the industry that are maintaining and actually growing right now. So, and that's kind of what we're talking about in the webinars too, helping students shift their focus of where to look for these jobs because there are still jobs out there. Right. And while regional carriers were always a big hire of our entry-level students, the main mainline carriers weren't necessarily so right to your point like for entry level maybe less impact on those no. folks than others i mean anecdotally again i don't have any numbers right. to back this up. <laughs> <laughs> what about um business aviation are you guys still getting like what's your sense based on employers in business aviation and if that Industries. I mean, I think like any of the, you know, passenger carrier operations, we are seeing a decrease in there. However, it has not decreased at the same pace with airline carriers. We will say mm -hmm. that. I mean, business travel in one form or another, business travel continues as long as business is happening. Um, so we are definitely seeing, we're definitely still seeing hiring made in that facet of the industry. Um, mm -hmm. Again, there has been a somewhat of a slowdown in there but there are still there is still business travel happening and they still need people to make that happen yeah cool thanks ashley sure all right any other questions for ashley or joel not no worries um what we'll do is um we'll let you guys go we'll take we have 10 minutes until the next session and that i think that's great we'll take a quick bio break and we'll join you guys back here at 
1030 with Aircraft Technical Book Company. Thanks, All right, thanks, Crystal. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend. You too.